Well, hello everybody and welcome back to Lisa's Coloring Corner. I have a new pencil sharpener to share with you. I am asked a lot of times to review things um, on my channel. There's a lot of times I say no because they have nothing to do with crafting, nothing that would pertain to my channel at all. Um, so when I politely decline this one, however, I thought, yes, this very much so uh, deals with coloring and crafting. So I thought, hmm, let's see what this pencil sharpener is all about and how it performs. So again, it is by Rio. I'm hoping that's how it's pronounced, R-I-Y-O. This is, uh, the model is PS-04. I will link this down below in the description. It is on Amazon. You will see it is a portable auto pencil sharpener. Okay, and then let's see, features. There are three power options. You have the adapter to plug in. You have batteries, so it'll take four AA batteries. Oh, and it also has a USB cable connection. Well, isn't that nice? Hmm, okay, so yeah, if you wanna take it on the go, you can run it on batteries. You can plug it in the wall or you can plug it in your computer. <laughs> That's very nice. Okay, can sharpen colored pencils and pencils. Uh, softer pencils and crayons should not be used. That is the one thing that I read about this and I'm glad they pointed it out. They do not recommend colored pencils like Prismacolor uh, to be used in here. The very soft ones, which as we all know, the softest of the soft is Prismacolor, right? Our beloved Prismacolors. Um, so, uh, yeah, the way it sounds, you would not want to use this on your Prismacolor Premier um, colored pencils. Now, the Prismacolor Verithins probably would be fine because those are your harder core pencils. Um, but the Prismacolor Premiers, the, the soft core, yeah, probably would not want to use um, in this pencil sharpener, at least according to the company. Now, what we get in here is the pencil sharpener itself. We have the non-skid bottom. We get a little brush and for cleaning out, you know, when you open this up to get the shavings out, um, you can clean off this. Uh, it does have the stainless steel. What is that called? Hel Heliox? No, what are they called? <laughs> the, the stainless steel blades. Um, and then you can clean out the shavings out of here because we know not everything comes out of here. It leads, you know, it leaves lead in there and stuff like that, which speaking of lead is another feature um, of this pencil sharpener. You know how many times we put a pencil in here and the lead breaks off and in a lot of our pencil sharpeners, especially the manual ones, that piece of lead stays stuck in by the blade, right? And you have to take something sharp and you gotta get that, that point, that little tip that broke off back out. This automatically kicks it out. <laughs> so you won't have your tips stuck in here. Um, it's supposed to be a feature of this. Of course, I haven't personally tested it out yet, but uh, we're gonna go through a whole bit, bunch of different kinds of colored pencils, uh, a few oil-based and a few wax-based, and we're gonna see how it performs with all of the different brands of colored pencils. All right, so if we look, um, not like you need a whole lot of directions for a pencil sharpener, but just says what's included in the package, just kind of like what I all showed you. Uh, the description, features, instruction, sharpener, can't operate without power source. Makes sense. You choose a charging cable or battery. So again, it says that it can be used by plugging it in by uh, USB or by battery. So, yeah, it only takes about three seconds to sharpen the pencil tips. 
please empty the shavings collector when pencil shavings um, get about half full. So they really don't want you to fill it up completely. Okay, so... Okay, yeah, the broken lead can go out automatically. So it is supposed to kick it out. All right, so yeah. Pencil sharpeners aren't that difficult to operate, right? The thing that I really liked about this one, we have this handy little storage cavity, ca not cavity, caddy <laughs> with it. Now, what I was thinking this would be really handy um, to use is if you're working on a coloring project, say it's um, some colored pencil project that you're working on, right? And it's taking you a while to do. It's going to be a whip, you know, for, for a while. Um, as you sharpen your colored pencils, and maybe you're going to put that whip on the side for a while, the colored pencils that you use for that particular project could go in here, right? So, uh, you know, maybe you're going on to a marker picture you're going to color or whatever. The colored pencils that you're using for that other project could go in here. Or I have, you know, a, a case, you know, up on the top of my desk right now that I, you know, had some pencils, some pens, markers, you know, whatever. You know, you can use this for whatever you would want to. That was just one idea that came to mind for me. So, I think what I'm going to do, I am going to go ahead, get this undone, get it plugged in, and I will come back. We're going to test out some colored pencils. I'll be right back. Alrighty, we are back. Now, you know, as I was looking this thing over and I was plugging this in, you know, of course, you have your battery compartment down here where you would put your four double A's in. I do not see a USB port in here. Now on the box, it says that that is one of the power options. All I am seeing on this particular model anyhow is the battery or the AC adapter. So I don't know if there's another model possibly where you have the three different, where you have the USB option too. Or maybe I'm just not seeing it, but <laughs> um, I'm not sure. From what I see, I don't see a USB connection. So let's give some colored pencils a try and let's see how they sharpen. Now, I thought there was a setting. I guess not. I was thinking there was a setting for how sharp you wanted it. I thought I read that. Uh, maybe not. Do, 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 do. No, I guess not. Okay. Alrighty. Well, okay. Of course, I did get out my Prismacolor Premier pencils. We are not going to do that, though. We are going to follow uh, what they tell us, and we are not going to sharpen our soft core pencils. Now, the vast majority of pencils, of course, are wax-based. There are very few true oil-based pencils out there, right? With the exception of a couple. Um, some of them that are out there, I don't have. Like, I have very few Kirin uh products. I have the, uh, all I have are the Neo Color 2s. Um, you know, the Luminance, of course, is a very soft, uh, soft core wax colored pencil, you know, getting up there right about as soft as Prismacolor. Um, but they, Kirin Dosh does have a few oil-based pencils. Um, I just don't have them. So, um, I do have two oil-based and one that's kind of a hybrid. So we will look at them. And of course, the most popular oil-based pencil out there is the Fabricastel Polychromos, right? So we're going to test out a Polychromos. Let's see if I have one that's a little bit duller. Um, maybe this yellow. Hmm. Ok, 
Okay, these are all pretty good. Okay, yeah, let's just try this yellow. It's not that dull, but we'll zoom in a little bit. Now, I do have the camera facing right down, so you won't be able to see it at an angle, um, but I will. Okay, it is tight. Okay, now this is a wider pencil. That, okay, you can see how it starts automatically. Well, it's kind of hard to get it back out, and it is very noisy, so I apologize for the noise. Just up front, I'm going to warn you, okay? As we're doing this, it's going to be a little noisy. If that bothers you, mute <laughs> the camera or mute what you're watching. Yeah. I mean, it is sharpening it. It feels like it's... Now, I could be doing something wrong. And it does... Okay, there. I was doing something wrong. You're not supposed to really push it in. And I guess I was kind of used to that with my other pencil sharpener. You, bar you barely push this in. And then it does auto stop. It, it You know, once it's sharpened, it does stop. You, there's a definite different feel and a different sound to it if you heard that difference once it got sharpened. Um, and yeah, I mean, there's no breakage of the tip. No, nothing. So that, after user error, that worked out well. <laughs> All right, so the polychromos worked good. It does grind up the shavings very, very fine, as you can see, which is a good thing and a bad thing. Um, makes more of a mess, in my opinion, but these types of blades, um, these stainless steel blades, uh, do, you know, cut them up much, much uh, finer. So, but these blades last a lot longer, too. Um, so, Let's try something else. Let's try a wax base. We are going to try... Now, I'm going to try Derwent Color Soft. It isn't quite as soft as Prismacolor Premier, but it is also a soft core pencil. Um, so, we're going to try and see what it does to a Color Soft. Now again, let's see. Let's open up some of the other zippers. And let's see if I have one in here that is a little bit duller. Yeah, here's a couple. Didn't unzip it all the way. Here's one. We'll use that one. Okay. Now, this is a thicker barreled pencil also. This one is mid-green. So, let's see what it does with this. Yeah, this is a little bit too thick of a barrel for it. Okay. So, I wouldn't suggest this pencil either. Well, I shouldn't say either. The uh, polychromos it did fine on. But yeah, these are have a thicker barrel. So I guess I would not use that. Um, but let's go ahead and try a wax-based pencil, which are so much more common, right? Uh, you know, 80% of the colored pencils we find online, if not 90%, are almost all wax-based. Um, it's just because they're easier to make, they're cheaper to make, um, you know, they're just, you know, the wax binders are easier to fabricate than the oil binders. All colored pencils are oil and wax-based. To some degree, it's just what is the main component component of that particular pencil which determines whether it is wax based or oil based okay so we are going to try an arteza colored pencil which is also wax based uh, madame madame here this one this one needs a sharpening Okay, so yes, these are the Arteza experts, 
and these are wax based. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Is that a tip or what? Holy macaroni. Now, if you like your colored pencils to a very fine tip, uh, I guess this is a sharpener for you. Wow. Yeah, there is no breakage whatsoever. And I'm pressing relatively hard. So very nice. Now, I don't think I would have had to have it in there that long um, to actually have sharpened it. I was just waiting for that feeling, you know, that, that you kind of get when, when it feels like it's done. And I didn't feel it that time. Okay, so that is the Arteza Expert. That worked great. All right, let's go back and let's try an oil-based Spear Farben is one of the few other oil-based pencils out there. Um, so we're going to try one of these guys. Uh, I think Spear Farben are the only, this is the only other set that I have that is oil-based. Everything else I have is wax-based with the exception of, exception of one, which is coming up. All right. All right. Here we have another blue that's kind of short so I think we're gonna work with this one I must like blue or something okay so here goes a spear farben no nope, I didn't push it in hard enough okay there I felt it oh my gosh yeah if you like sharp tips really pointy tips to your pencils wow this is your pencil sharpener holy cow yes this looks like almost the exact same color as my <laughs> what i picked for my other brand but yeah it does a great job of sharpening now the thing that i do recommend um well not just me uh the experts <laughs> recommend the manufacturers is every once in a while run a lead pencil through your pencil sharpener just to clear out any of those wax or oil binders from inside the blade. Um, the graphite in a regular pencil is going to help clean that all out. What I like to use, and I don't think I have one at my desk right here, is I have um, a set of they very much resemble the Koh-i-Noor, the woodless uh, set of 12 or 24 colored pencils that they have out there. These look about like the exact same thing, except they're black. They're just plain graphite, solid graphite pencils that are woodless. And that's what I use to run through my pencil sharpener every, I don't know how many, I don't really count, but... You know, every so often you run that graphite pencil through your pencil sharpener and that really extends the life of your pencil sharpener, the blade. Um, so I will link this pencil sharpener. I will link those uh, graphite pencils that I use too. They work great in, in your pencil sharpeners to help clean them out. Okay, so that was the Spear Farben worked great on that also. So yeah, it's it's doing well. The only one we had a problem with, and that's because it was a larger diameter pencil, a lot of colored pencil sharpeners have a problem with the wider diameter pencil. So it's not just this guy. Um, I thought I would try the Derwin Ink Tents. Now, I think Derwent Intense is also a wider, I don't know if it's as wide as Colorsoft, though. I didn't look up the diameters of these pencils, but I'm thinking this is also a wider barrel, if I'm not mistaken, is it? Well, here's one mid-vermilion that I was using. Yeah, yeah, Derwent 
ink tents is also, I thought this was one, one of the bigger barreled ones also. So Derwent products. Um, I don't know if all of uh, the ink tents and the uh, color soft are the only uh, Derwent products that I have. They are larger barreled. I don't know if all of Derwent uh, products are larger barreled. Somebody else could uh, <laughs> answer that probably better than me. Um, but yeah, the larger barreled uh, pencils will not work uh, in this pencil sharpener. Um, one other one I wanted to just try, I don't think. See, now this uh, is a larger diameter also. This is the Faber-Castell Pit Pencil. Um, and what the Pit Pass, or the Pit Pastel uh, Pencil is a pastel in pencil form. Now, the reason why I mention this is they really don't remember the, recommend, they call them chalk pass, or pencils. I think what they're talking about is like the pastel pencils. Um, just like your real soft core pencils that they don't recommend, they don't recommend these types of pencils in this sharpener either. Your pastel pencils typically need a special type of sharpener. I have um, a handheld sharpener that, uh, well, pretty much your typical better handheld sharpener will work for your pastel pencils. But yeah, I wouldn't recommend uh, your pastel pencils in this sharpener either. I just thought I'd mention that. Okay, so I think one of the last pencils that we're gonna try are my precious Holbeins. <laughs> Um, now, the Holbeins are a whole different animal because they're kind of a hybrid pencil. They are not oil-based and they're not wax-based. They're a hybrid of the two. So they're kind of in between a Prismacolor and a Polychromos, all combined into one. <laughs> so yeah, they're their own special little animal. All right. Now, where's a shorter one that needs, where's one that needs sharpening? You can see what my favorite colors are because they're my shorter pencils. <laughs> Betcha that's true for every single one of us that has pencil sets out there, right? Our favorite colors are the ones that wear down the fastest. Um, let's see, let's look through the pastel. Just trying to find one that's a little bit duller. Here we kind of have a pink. It's not real dull, but a little bit. Now, let's see if... Oh, look at that. That, again, wow. Beautiful. Yeah, no breakage. And like I said, the thing that, now of course you wouldn't want to put, let me zoom back out. You wouldn't want to put your pencils down this way in here, right? Because you, you wouldn't want to bust your lead. You would want to, I would think anyhow, put them up maybe this way. I guess it depends. Now, these are my precious Holbeins. <laughs> You know, so I, I don't know if, if I would want to keep them tipped down, tip up. I guess it's up to you. Um, I don't know. I was going to say, you know, keep them this way, and then it looks kind of silly having them up that way. But I don't know. What do you guys think? Tip up or tip down? Let me know in the comments below. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I guess I would. But then, you know... After you're done sharpening them and you put them in here, that sharpens to such a fine point, you might end up stabbing yourself. <laughs> Just kidding. All right, so, okay, I think that is the last set that I have out here to try to sharpen. Every single one sharpened fantastically, with the exception of the larger barreled pencils. 
um, they just they don't fit in here and just for oh I won't say what I was gonna say just for giggles <laughs> um, I am gonna test out a Prismacolor um, I will go through and I will run a graphite pencil through it afterwards I just am curious to see you know I, I'm assuming that they're saying don't use your soft core uh, pencils in this because the wax may gum up you know your uh, sharpener the blades um, plus we know that the Prismacolor Premier leads break so much easier because of how buttery soft they are right um, that may be another reason I'm, I'm not sure but I'm thinking it it has to do with you know with these having so much wax in them and that's what makes them our beloved soft core pencil right um, that that does probably wear down the life maybe of uh, the blade itself but uh, yeah I mean it does it does definitely still sharpen it to a fantastic point and now my light is is playing havoc but as you can see it still sharpens to a fantastic tip so again I know there are some of you out there who love coloring with this fine fine tip I myself I don't like it quite this pointed because I'm so heavy-handed so when I go to color I would I would almost inevitably snap that off. <laughs> um, but if you don't you know bear down too hard now Prismacolor of course is very soft um, so the tip wears down you know quite rapidly as anybody that colors what Prismacolor knows and I just you know turn it around so yeah I mean the tips wore down really fast and that was probably a bad color uh, to uh, do as an example because you probably can't even see that up there um, but it, it does it does work on the on the soft core I'm just I'm going by what they say on Amazon um, to not necessarily use the soft core so um, that's the only reason I'm saying it so if we take off the reservoir you can see with the amount of uh, sharpening that I did now how many pencils did I do eh, not too many but I can see that because of the large door the large opening in here I can see why they say to empty it when it's only half full um, I don't even think you'd be able to well I suppose if you take it off and you tip it this way you wouldn't want to pull it out this way <laughs> for obvious reasons or you're going to get pencil shavings all over the place so there is a rather large door on here but yeah I would say if your pencil shavings are coming up past the point here where you see the sharpener inside uh, make sure you open the door this way or you're going to have shavings spilling out <laughs> out of here just a word of warning okay so then yeah you could use this little brush they give you to of course you know clean this all out now of course you wouldn't have to do this every time I don't imagine but I'm sure when you do do it it extends the life of your pencil sharpener so I am going to empty this out in my trash bag so then I can start with a uh, nice clean pencil sharpener so I am going to uh, work with this over the next few weeks um, if I have any updates or I find I have any problems or what so you know whatsoever I'll just I'll talk about it in a color and chat or something like that but as of right now now I have not put any uh, batteries in it um, you know so I didn't test out batteries 
you know, there's really no saying how long the batteries would last, of course, because that's going to depend on how much you use the thing, right? <laughs> so, you know, you can't really say how much, you know, battery consumption it's going to use or, you know, things like that, because, yeah, that's that's a variable that you, you just can't predict. Um, every person's going to be different. A color pencil enthusiast is going to go through it much, much faster. All right, it's Lisa Proof. Um, you know, much more quickly than somebody that doesn't color with colored pencils that much, obviously. So I think I'll just keep this in here. And I guess that is our testing of this colored pencil sharpener. Again, this is by Real, R-I-Y-O. And I will be linking this down below in the description, as well as those um, woodless graphite pencils that I was talking about. I think they come in a set of, is it six or ten? Hmm, might be six. I'll have to look it up, but yeah, I'll leave the link down below. So, I thank you for watching this review. I, I hope that it helped you. Um, maybe you want to give this uh, pencil sharpener a try yourself. It definitely sharpens pencils to a fine point. <laughs> um, so, if you enjoyed this video, this review, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. I hope everybody's having a fantastic day. And as always, happy coloring. Bye, guys.